Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Mixner Media tutorial, we're gonna be taking a look at the proxy workflow for using compressed RAW files from Blackmagic cameras. So in this case, we're gonna be using files that were shot on my Blackmagic Ursa Mini 4.6K at uh, three to one RAW compression. He's got a couple nice shots here. We're not gonna do, you know, a ton of shots, but I thought, you know, we'd put something together pretty quick. So we got Amber, you know, making stuff look better than it is. Cool stuff. So, we're starting in DaVinci Resolve because Premiere cannot read these compressed raw files. This is why we're having to do a proxy workflow, which is annoying. You can edit and resolve if you want to, but that is not for me. So we just say these are all the clips that we shot. So we're going to go over to our deliver tab and set it up like so. We're going to make sure individual clips is selected. We're going to put this in our project folder. Uh, and I made just a subfolder called proxies just to keep things neat. We're going to render these, go to file, make sure the source name is selected. And that's the most important thing here. It's pretty much all you need to do on that. And then in video, you're going to select your favorite flavor of proxy. So I'm going to do um, DNX HD, 1080, 36, 8-bit, super easy. It's nice to render stuff at source resolution, but just to, you know, show a full proxy workflow, I'm going to export these at 1080. Keep it nice and simple. Advanced settings, we don't need to worry about any of this most of the time. If you're doing anamorphic stuff, you will, but all this should be fine. Then we can just close this guy out, add the render queue and start rendering. And I'll see you back in just a bit whenever these are done. I don't take that long to render, but if you're doing like a whole, you know, 90 minute movie and you know, however many terabytes of clips that might be, this could be a while, but you know, you know, set up your computer to render and you go out and you have a nice little dinner, or maybe in some cases a vacation, depending on your computer. But anyway, I'll be right back. All right, so our render just completed. So now we can close out of that. I'm just gonna minimize it because I'm lazy. And now we'll go into our project file and we we'll just go ahead and import those files. So I got here, look at that. Proxies all done up. I'm gonna import the folder and squoop boop ba doop bop. There we go. So now we've got some proxies. Let's throw one in a timeline, create something fun. Sweet. Perfect. So we'll start on this shot. Let's edit together a little thing. Oh, eye opens. Uh, okay. And now let's open these into another window. See what we're doing. Uh, then we'll do some of this stuff. So beautiful. We're going to make this fantastic video. My goodness. Look how great this is. We're going to do sweet look thing that's out of focus we'll choose a different part of that yeah this will be cool and then maybe we'll do some you know walking in the water oh look at that you can hear me we'll go ahead and turn off audio and uh then we'll do some like flirty rolling around stuff 120 frames maybe a little much that's fine you know, this isn't going to be <laughs> for this tutorial. We're not going to make like something incredible. We're just going to make something. So that stuff. Now go back outside. Look at that. It's like we know what we're doing or something. This veiling is from a plastic bag in front of the lens because I'm, you know, super hardcore. Back to these. I know I've got a little wider. This one gets, whoop, this I don't need. So now this stuff, do a little bit more indoorsy things. Oh gosh darn it, this is gonna be a fantastic video, you can already tell. Sweet. Um, some more of this stuff. There might even be, I know I never thought I'd say this, but there might be too much plastic bag in this shot. And then we'll do this cliche white at the end. Ooh, I want this earlier. Do something like that. I'll just, whoop. Is it really that long? I guess so. Drop it in there. Take away that, there we go. And down in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you can see what keys I'm pressing. Uh, Cause I know that we're not like being super slow about this, but you know, this is how you, how you edit a video sometimes. You just sort of throw stuff in. Stop right there. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, we'll make that a little longer. 
And I've got a great little Instagram video. Watch this through, make sure that we didn't do anything super dumb, but we've got some cool music. See, look at this. It's like we have our own fashion video already. <laughs> Sweet. This is why if you just shoot good stuff, you look like a genius editor. Okay, so save that and then export a project because we're going to say that is a fantastic video. I'll just show you if you put music underneath it. We're not even going to do anything great. This is going to be this. I'm going to shorten it up a little bit. The beginning part. We probably... I'm going to start. start when it starts. There we go. A little fade at the beginning. I'm just having too much fun with this. And then just because we're a cliche, we will go ahead and drop in flies is always one of my favorites. Whoops, this I don't need. Just drop it in the project. Let's see. This be a good little way to end it. Because, you know, we're just making something that people will like. Doesn't need to be fancy schmancy. Uh, and then this tip to white probably won't, or I don't know, it might go into resolve, but even if it doesn't, that's fine. Effect controls, go to screen, look at that. Make this even a little longer. I make this a little longer, make this a little longer. Sweet. Okay, that looks nice. Save. File. Export. XML. Look at this. Just, uh, put that in whatever folder you want to put it in. I normally put it in the folder where the color grading stuff goes. Then we're in here. Um, all right, then we're going to hit Control Shift I, which is import in XML. Go to our XML. And now we've got this guy. So all this is looking good. What we're going to do is we're going to, this is the most important part, hit ignore file extension when matching. Then we're going to change this to 2048 by 1152. because so I want to do this as a 2K, whatever. So that's looking good. Then we're going to hit OK. And it'll prompt you to see where do you want us to input the files from. So now you're going to select your source footage. This is just on this drive because I haven't bothered to offload it yet. And hit OK and it's going to look around. Uh, three of 39 clips were not yet found. So that's the light leak and the music. I won't bother searching for them now, but you can just go find them. All right, and now you see, not only is our whole thing brought over looking nice and good. There we go, getting some goofy errors there. I'll go ahead and delete this. So it's looking good. But if we go into our color page, you can see that we have all of these raw options that we can change. Woot woot. So you do anything you want. Look at all this, good stuff. So just that easy, that's uh, my proxy workflow. It's the only one that I found that really works well and easily. I've looked around online some, whenever I first got the camera and there weren't really any good options. So this is, this is my option. Um, so the steps, uh, transcode using DaVinci Resolve, pop that into Premiere, edit around some, bring it back in with an XML, then make sure that you have it ignore the file name extensions and then select the folder with your source material. And then, you know, you're ready to rock and roll and color around. Then you can send this guy, you know, we're just going to do something stupid color wise. We'll just add a LUT over everything in Resolve instead. So new LUT pack, almost done. I like these ones. Nice. Bring this guy back to 800 because it looks a little nicer there. All these look nice. Actually, let's go with a different LUT. Let's go with a cooler LUT cooler like temperature wise um, or actually you know everyone likes this one sweet so then you can just deliver back in whatever format you want 
this is a good format, render it, source resolution. And then you just bring this guy back into Premiere and you could add your light leak there again, or just bring it over and music and titles, and then you're good to go. So that's the whole proxy workflow that I use. It works well, it's pretty easy. It's just, you know, like any proxy workflow, if that initial transcoding time, which sucks, but you know, whenever you literally aren't allowed to use the footage inside of Premiere, what else are you gonna do? So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike, no matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. Also be sure to check out meestermedia.com slash products. We have LUTs and power grades and the light leaks and lens junk stuff like you saw here, which is just a nice little way to add some extra goodness to your video. New light pack coming out soon. I just gotta finish off some technical stuff and the trailer. And then, you know, all that good stuff. But they're looking sweet. I've sent it out to some people to review and they're like, oh shoot, these are dope. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, if you want to be notified when that goes up, you can just go to mistermedia.com slash products and get the street textures pack. And then I'll have your email and I'll you know, do that. Or you can buy something, which is always better for me. <laughs> house Luts are still cool. Uh, these are a different flavor than that. So if you already have House Luts, look out for these guys. And if you already have House Luts, you might also be getting a potential discount on this one just by the way. Um, share this video with your friends because this is an important workflow to know how to do. I'm going to share it with an editor that I'm working on a project on just to make sure that she knows this is what's going to have to be done. And follow the socials down in the description below. I occasionally post to Instagram and that's about it. So once again, I'm with Theo with Mr. Media. Have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.